Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Liam, and welcome back to my channel MindBuild77. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at three interesting and odd ideas and theories about what lies beyond the observable universe, so let's get started. Now a quick disclaimer before I start the video. Some of the things that I will say are my opinion, um, but I also will be talking about, you know, opinions of others and also common knowledge that um, other people believe to be true. Um, I just wanted to say that because some of these ideas that I'll be talking here are strictly my own. So as we all know, the observable universe is about 93 billion light years across. Now so far, we haven't been able to see any further than that. And also, the furthest distance that we can see away right now is about 13.8 billion light years old. So basically, if you got this, um, if you look to the edge of the universe that we can see right now, um, it's projected or estimated to be about 13.8 billion light years old. So basically that means that if you look at a picture that's at the edge of the observable universe, that light is 13.8 billion years old because it takes all those billions of years to get to us. So now I'm going to be getting into some of the theories that I have and also other people have, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. So the first theory that I'm going to go over is the infinite universe. So this is the idea that the universe just goes on forever. It doesn't stop, and it's basically never ending. Now what this means is that the observable universe that we could see right now is basically just a tiny fraction of what's actually out there. But if it is infinite, then you couldn't really call it a fraction because it's basically, it just goes on and on. So what we can see right now is basically just at our limitations. And contrary to what many people believe, this theory means that the universe has been here forever, and that it's not expanding or contracting or, you know, the heartbeat uh, theory that people have. It's just always been there. Now many people will write this theory off saying that it's false because then where does the Big Bang play a part in this? But this theory suggests that the Big Bang never happened. Now I think that this is a valid theory because we're not really sure whether the Big Bang actually happened. Even with all the theories that we've come up with right now, there's still only theories and we can't actually travel back 13.8 billion years to see if it was still there. And also then we'd have to raise the fact what happened before the Big Bang because it couldn't have just come out of nothing. For the Big Bang to actually happen, there would have have to been something before that for this explosion to happen. But that's for another video. So people that believe this infinite universe theory, some of them also think that, um, you know, we could find another uh, planet that's basically exactly the same as Earth because there could only be so many different planets until um, they start coincidentally being the same as ours. And keep in mind, this is just a theory and it's just something that I wanted to include. The second theory that I have is that the universe has an edge and that it's actually a confined sphere and there's nothing beyond it. Now, this could be true because why can we see the border of the universe? It doesn't really make sense that we could never see beyond it, but again, this is just at our current technology level. But I do think that this could have some credit because, I mean, we can't really see beyond this, you know, uh, ball of universe or whatever you want to call it. So I'm not really sure. Maybe this does mean that there's nothing beyond this point Or maybe this means that we just can't see anything beyond this point or that you know There's really nothing beyond it But again, there is a problem with this theory because then what's actually holding this bubble in like what's the edge of this thing? Like is it a huge wall or whatever like a brick wall? It just doesn't make that much sense to me um, It doesn't really make that much sense that there'd be this huge like barrier that would be at the edge of the universe if anything if it stops where we think it does i think that it'd just be empty space probably just be empty space beyond the point that we could see and all the stars and galaxies would just end and then beyond that there wouldn't be a wall there'd just be empty space where nothing exists or at least as far as we know Now, the third theory that I have is that there's many universes. Now, I do have to say something. Um, there's no such thing as universe is because the definition of universe means everything. It doesn't mean like there's like one universe and another one and then another one. A universe is everything, so all those universes would really be one universe. The universe is a term for every single thing that is in the universe. There's not anything beyond it. Even if there was like another realm, you could say, it'd still be considered this universe. But then you could look at it like that, like there's other realms beyond this 
realm, I guess you'd call it, which does sort of go into the cell theory, um, that the universe is basically like living cells, which is something that I've been thinking about for many years now. But as we are right now, we don't really know this, um, but it definitely is an interesting theory that I would like to talk about. So this third theory is definitely the most interesting, the fact that there could be, you know, a different realm. But again, it still would be considered the universe because there's only one universe. Um, I don't get why people mix it up and think that there's two universes or more. I mean, that really just goes against the what the word means. So I wouldn't really take this theory into account unless we do find some more, um, you know, relative evidence for this. So now we have the question, which one out of the three theories do I believe is true? I definitely believe that the first theory is probably the most likely that it just goes on and on. But of course, that would raise the question, why can't we see beyond what we can see right now? Again, I don't know, but it doesn't make sense to me that it just randomly stopped. I think it's because that's how much light has got to us. But I do think that it's a possibility that it just keeps on going and never stops. Now, the Many Earths theory, which I was talking about before with this infinite universe theory, um, I'm not really sure if that's true. Again, it just might be something that, you know, our minds come up with. We have no concrete evidence about um, anything, really. Um, about anything, about how the universe was created, about um, how much universe there is, about what's the border of the universe, how big it is, um, you know, how old is it, so we won't really be able to know. Um, I think that we'll never know um, how the universe was created. Um, some people think that we will, but again, why would we ever think so? Because the thing is, we don't even have space travel yet, so it's definitely not going to be a thing we'll, where we'll um, discover like all the secrets of the universe. At least that's my opinion on it. Make sure to um, cause a debate in the comments because I definitely like talking to people that have a different viewpoint. But thank you everyone so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. My name is Liam, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.